starting by the professor yes. W.U. Wu, Wu Jianmin, Wu Jinma. He's the, you know, the professor of the, of the you know, Vanier College. And then organize uh, about uh, eight family from from Taipei. They organize, you know, oh, yes. start of the of the of the of the you know the Chinese school. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, there's a second second you know the school Chinese school in the Montreal. Sunday only. This is for the Chinese school. The, mm -hmm. the rest they, they, you know, the venue college they are going to take you there for a regular school, you know. Yeah. And how how long have you been coming to work how, here? How long? Yeah. Almost since the you know the beginning of the school. You know, twenty so almost twenty twenty eight years. From eighty. From eighty. Official immigrant to get to, to Montreal. Get into the Air Canada. Yeah, because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an engineer. So I start from Air Canada. It's too low for you. I said, okay, work is work. Oh my God, work is work. It doesn't matter that they're great. Have you? Always been involved with the Chinese community oh, in Montreal. Yeah, 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 of course, Chinese community. You know, this once I uh, connect with you here, always, always some, some kind of special. You know. So uh, I started with my family, parents association here. Every Sunday, I have to come back. Seven, seven a week, from Monday to Friday. Yeah, you can come here. Yes, you got a chance to see. Yeah, the, the summer 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 class is uh, is very very special. The, some of the teacher from from Taipei. Yeah, all the kind of things. Oh, you can you better see that. Not like bad. So uh, people like that. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of students registered. I was born in uh, Swantau, uh, uh, as a city in uh, Guangdong province in China. So after finishing high school at this uh, bilingual school, I went to uh, McGill University. And during this time, I was uh, interested in doing some research, so I suggested that I might want to work on artificial cell. But everybody thought that it was uh, Crazy idea. So what was your first impression of Montreal? Interesting, because when I first come to Montreal, the first thing people ask me was, you come from Hong Kong, you must be very impressed with all the tall buildings, uh, and you must be very, very strange here, yeah, uh, considering where you come from in Hong Kong. And when I first came, when people saw me, the first thing they asked me is, do you work in the restaurant or do you work in long train? When I told them I was starting at McGill, they were very surprised. Oh, you are Chinese, you are studying at university. So that was how people consist of Chinese. But then things change with time and nowadays when you go out, when people see Chinese, they usually ask you, are you a doctor, are you an engineer? Or younger people, which university do you go to? So things change a lot since uh, more than 50 years ago. Well, I, I don't know what I'm proud or what to say. You see, my, my whole life I spent working on artificial cell that I've invented. So uh, that has now 
been expanded to many, many aerial application. And when I started this work in 1957 by a medical, by an undergraduate student at McGill, nobody was working on it. Not now, many, many people working on this. So it's getting to be a very big area and I'm very happy because many patients can now uh, have new type of treatment for many different type of medical condition. I have been recognized internationally for many, many years as an honorary president and invited to the lecture over the world. And it was many years after that I received the uh, Office of Canada. I think uh, Chinese usually are a bit uh, more uh, humble and I think Chinese should be more able to express their accomplishment so that uh, by doing this, uh, other people in Canada could recognize the contribution of Chinese to Canada and the world. Quand moi j'avais petit, j'avais eu beaucoup de problèmes avec deux pieds dans deux places. Puis je crois que c'est un avantage. Ma mère était née au Canada. Euh, parce que mon grand-père est venu pour, euh, tout le, pendant tout le chemin de fer. Mon, mon grand-père est venu ici en 1880. 18 pour toute l'histoire de le chemin d'affaires au Canada. Ça, c'est côté mère euh, de mes grands-parents. Côté père, hein, mon père, lui, il est venu, il, lui était euh, 14 ans, il était envoyé par le, son, le, le, la famille, euh, puis mon père Lui, il a, à l'arrivée de la Chine de, euh, de Guangzhou, le petit euh, Toisan, euh, le village en, en Guangzhou. Et lui, il est venu à 14 ans. Puis après ça, il, il a commencé à euh, travailler dans les restaurants au nord Ontario, euh, avant qu'il ait rencontré ma mère. Quand j'avais vu 24, 25 ans, j'ai commencé à réapprocher ma famille, puis réétablir mes euh, euh, connexions avec la famille, ma mère. Mm. Et j'ai commencé à faire beaucoup de voyages de Vancouver à, à Toronto avec les mariages, les morts, toutes les affaires de famille. Quand moi j'avais petit, j'avais eu beaucoup de problèmes avec deux pieds dans deux places. Puis je crois que c'est un avantage. Euh, même sens que quand j'avais petit, j'avais un pied chinois, un pied canadien. J'ai lutté pour toute ma vie avec ça jusqu'aux mes années trentaine. J'avais résisté, j'ai lutté, j'ai rebelle mes racines chinoises, je veux rien savoir, mes racines chinoises, mais quand j'avais 24, 25, j'ai commencé à réembrasser ma famille, réembrasser mes racines chinoises et réembrasser le, le fait que c'est un conflit, puis c'est important de toujours. Euh, être consciente puis travaille avec le conflit.
I came in 1958 to uh, study architecture uh, in uh, Montreal and Mankiw. This is the uh, building that uh, is in, in uh, just in between the uh, TD Center in Toronto, right in the Financial Center. So what is your favorite work? Thing that you're most proud of. This this one is actually the the favorite because this one is uh, there's a lot of uh, new thing in it. The, the technique of that facade has been copied by many many buildings since then. Yeah. How, how did your style change? Your, your it's, the, it's not really the style change, but it's the technique change that makes the design change as time goes by. I'm always concerned design a building based on the the time of the technology and also the um, the, space, the need of that each project is different. Various business by Chinese are laundry, literal laundry shop. Um, that really is, uh, are the beginning of the Chinese group in China. By the time I come, that was 58, there's still about six or seven Chinese laundry in Montreal, but today there's none. So when we first arrived, um, although I never, because I was lucky enough to get a professional job, but many of my classmates or schoolmates um, had worked in the restaurant. And then when they were asked, what do you speak? Then they say Cantonese, and they say, oh, you don't know how Chinese. To them, the national language is Taiwan, Taiwanese. So that shows the small uh, community at that time. Well, volunteer work, I always am interested, simply because, uh, especially here, being non-Canadian, uh, non-local born, there's always so much to do. Uh, in the beginning, of course, I'm only interested in doing volunteer work for the Chinese community, such as the Chinese school and the hospital. But gradually, the, uh, the interest expanded to uh, the student need. That's where my interest now turned to uh, 20 years ago, when I was appointed as the uh, governor of McGill. At the moment, we have about 20 fellowships across the university. We have lots of uh, scholarships. This is part of the volunteer kind of work uh, will be uh, sort of permanent. And all those scholarships and fellowships are all endowments, which means forever. <laughs> so. Chen 一年開始就一米做生意一米要納稅很多稅 
我哋係住喺個即係個城市仔嚟噶嘛，個城市仔咁我哋食即係自己俾錢去買糧食先有糧食食啦嘛。即係話，即係話唔準唔準啦，閒又唔做工唔得咁啊，要拱咗我哋去耕田咯。耕咗田之後咧，又三年都冇收入，一個先都冇係做義工咯，做做義工咁啊。收尾至到五六啊，至到六幾年啊，六三年啊，六幾年嗰陣時就耕田就。有糧出咁樣啦，就生活啦。咁啊，至到七幾年我哋又出咗嚟，我哋申請申請十幾年先出咗嚟呢度。出咗嚟加拿大啦，咁啊呢度就有工做啦，咁啊有生活啦。啊，而家啊嘛嚟到呢度啦，生活安定咗啦，個女大咗又結咗婚啦，而家有咁多細路仔啦，咁啊開心咯，個個接埋一齊啦。個個又健健康康咯，乖啦，咁咯。